hey guys so actually got a little busy with the work uh, so the bike is exactly where it was two three days ago so yesterday i couldn't shoot a video because too much of work at work basically <laughs> so because of that i didn't get enough time to work on the bike but now I have a bit of time and also need some peace of mind so I thought I will work on the bike you know actual issue is while um, you know you work on the bike uh, shooting videos is actually very counterproductive uh, especially because for the camera it has to be done multiple times and that is where the problem is so Hopefully, um, there is some work which needs to be completed and hopefully it can get completed today. Another thing is uh, the petrol tank will, uh, I'll get the petrol tank tomorrow and I've given the Charisma petrol tank as well because it has a bit of a dent and that is kind of uh, basically making me redo things because you know of my OCD so I thought I will do it properly again and paint it so that is gonna happen maybe tomorrow or Sunday so right now what we are going to do is we are going to start assembling this bike let's see if we can put the engine also in uh, looks little ambitious but let's see about the RX100 there is going to be some work done on this as well uh, not today but maybe on a later video uh, one important thing is the front forks actually were buffed at some point in time so I need to uh, basically paint them in grey secondly the mudguard is kind of looking terrible so something has to be done about that as well um, other than that there is not much of an issue here yeah we need to remove and replace both the rims so i have a couple of rims lying there so thinking of getting one powder coated one as in one pair and then we'll install it on this because these guys like to pee on them and those rims go bad pretty quickly so first things first we'll put this wheel in and then we'll change the handle and then if we get the time then we will replace all the oil seals on the engine as well okay so let's do that
so the engine oil seals are changed we are not changing the magnet side crank oil seal because that would require us to split the crank without that it is really impossible to take that oil seal out and plus there is no oil coming that way so it won't leak from there and plus it is not leaking so it is okay to let it be uh, remaining all the oil seals have changed i've changed this side uh, crank oil seal i've changed the gear shaft oil seal i've changed the um, clutch oil seal i've changed the um, gear uh, selector oil seal so basically everything has changed all are new so all we need to do now is we need to just put the engine back into the bike and trust me uh, we have done a lot of work today i didn't think that changing all the oil seals would be possible so finally it is done so now what we are going to do is we are going to put the engine back in the bike
okay so finally all the work that we planned today is done the handle is changed the front wheel is fixed and we also put the engine back into the chassis after changing all the oil seals though in the video it is like a 30 second job but it took me a lot of hours so I'm not going to work anymore today on this because I am tired and we'll fix this remaining tomorrow so if all goes well we'll hopefully start the bike tomorrow so all right thanks for watching and i hope you like the video if you do please like share and subscribe and we'll see you in the next one bye bye